we're off on a trip of a lifetime to Albania and Uzbekistan and lots of places that aren't in between. We left the hustle and bustle of Jerusalem for the much more relaxed tropical paradise that is Cyprus. Train, plane and bus. Thank you Israel, but bring on Cyprus. First impressions, six o'clock at night. This is a pretty cool place. Cyprus is an island nation of about 1.3 million people in the eastern part of the Mediterranean. It is hot. For the three days we were in the country, the temperatures ranged in the 25 to 30 degree area and a lot of the tourism is based around the great weather and inviting beaches. As is our custom, we spent a lot of time walking around the places that interested us. To avoid the heat, we would try and do so quite early in the morning, and we are not alone. The country seems to exercise in the morning before the heat really kicks in. Resort town. Just after 6.30 in the morning and there's people already out swimming. Ooh, I think it's already about 25 degrees. when you think you're getting the real thing. Oh, that's good. You can buy some kiwis here. I think I read somewhere that Larnaca is one of the world's 20 most ancient continuously inhabited cities for the last 4,000 years. I don't know, I read it somewhere. One thing that is quirky about Cyprus is the division of the island into two distinct nations. The south and main part is dominated by the Greek population and the north is dominated by the Turkish population. The north is known as the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. No country recognises the northern country as a country except for Turkey. Every other member of the United Nations views the northern country as a recalcitrant region of Cyprus, the southern country, and this all came about as a result of a civil war that broke out in the 1980s. These days the tensions have eased, but there is still a United Nations maintained border between the two countries that can be crossed, and so we did. We drove to Nicosia and found our way to a border crossing and walked through to the north for lunch. It was kind of cool actually. Made entirely from driftwood or something. Twigs. Very, very clever. Our three days in Cyprus can be summarised as one day on the beach with two days travelling up and down the coast in a rental car. Highlights of our trips included some white rocks, and I know that sounds boring, but it was actually pretty cool.
Now here's an interesting geological conundrum. Black sand, white rocks. Black sand, white rocks. Hmm. So here we are at Paphos. A uh, house of Dionysus, house of Aeon, house of Theseus, house of Orpheus, oh, and the vending machines. So here we have the site of a very ancient people. It was where people lived their lives doing stuff. Um, you know, there was stuff being done right there and also stuff being done right here. And just lots of stuff was happening here. We don't know by whom, as I said, but it was really important stuff to them because stuff is important to people. But, you know, I just want to put some context around this because, you know, it's really important to have context and, you know, stuff by people that we don't know was done here, which is just mind-blowing really. This is like where all the spare building material is kept, just for tourists to try and reassemble a temple of their own. To be or not to be, that is the question. So if my maths is correct, we are about 1,600 years old. And obviously not the walkway, but you know, the mosaics. The mosaics and walkways just keep going and going and going. You'd need some kind of railing around that deck. Uh, so it's non compliant.
One thing I noted about Cyprus was that a lot of the place names sounded like they relate to pharmaceutical products. Let me give you some examples. Limasos, a cold remedy that soothes your throat. Limasol, a soothing cream for your various ailments. Larnaca, an antiseptic for your scrapes and cuts. I could go on. Anyway, Cyprus, you're awesome. Please like and subscribe.